Hey everyone, Sergey Praknevsky here from ukramedia.com and today is an exciting day because we finally get to release an amazing free After Effects script called Delayer. And by the way, you can download it at ukramedia.com slash Delayer. The link to it is at the bottom of this video. The creator of this script is a guy whose name is Tim Thiessen. He's been an amazing friend. Uh, he's been a personal mentor to me and many of you as well. You also might know him through another awesome free script called Bouncer, which if you don't know anything about it, you should definitely check it out. The link to it is at the bottom of this video. But unfortunately, as many of you know, Tim unexpectedly passed away about five months ago. And it's been a shock to a lot of us, especially his family. And it's been difficult. We miss him. We loved him. And even though he's no longer with us, his legacy is still here with us. His knowledge is still here with us and we are still enjoying the fruits of his labor and we're doing that today by releasing his script and shortly after his passing his family handed me a bunch of his files that had many many scripts some were finished some weren't so it's not the end of tim we're going to continue releasing his work we're going to continue honoring him so i feel honored that his family trusted us with this work i love the fact that we can honor him again and again and again so i'm looking forward to it but in the meantime, let me show you this amazing script called Delayer. All right, so we are in After Effects, and this is what Delayer looks like in After Effects. And by the way, if you are struggling installing this script, I highly recommend that you go to ukramedia.com slash Delayer. And at the very bottom of that page, you'll see written instructions on how to install it on a PC and also Mac. So do that first before you watch this tutorial. And for this example, here's what we have. So we have all these logos, all these Ukramedia logos, and they kind of just animate in, they scale in and then out, right? So scaling in and then out. And each logo right here is its own separate layer, as you can see. And they all start at frame zero. So very boring animation, very identical, not much excitement. However, here's what I'm trying to do. I want to take all of these logos and I want to offset the animation starting at the top left corner, moving downwards. How can I make that happen? Now, in the past, I would do it like this. I would select these, right? And then kind of offset them like this and then select the other ones and then offset them as well, right? I mean, it's a very long process, especially if you have a lot of elements and then you can do the same thing here, offset them. So again, I'm just trying to show you, it's a very long, painful process and we, we kind of get what we want, right? But then if you need to alter things, it, it can take you a very long time. So I say all this to say that we have a much better way of doing this. And that's by using this D layer. And the way it works, very simple. Just select all of your layers, ho however you select it, either like this, right? Or you can do control A and select all of them. However you arrive, that's fine. And then once you've selected all the layers, the next thing you want to do is just click on one of these buttons. So if you want to delay them starting at the top left corner, then you would click on this top left corner icon here. So when you do that, it's going to offset them 30 frames max. So you can adjust how many frames, you know, how slow of an offset do you want? Do you want them to be spread out more or less? So this number will help you. And it doesn't offset it in here like you would think. It offsets each layer based on where they are in the composition. That's very important. So if I preview this, you can see that it's given us something very interesting in no time. So that took like a click. And you can undo this and you can say, hey, I want them to start at the center moving out. How can I make that happen? So we have a button right here. You click on it and it gives you exactly that. If you want to reverse that, you can just click on this button. It's gonna go in starting out, right? So like that. So again, very useful tool. You can play around with these. You can say start at bottom right corner and I'll do the same thing at the bottom right corner. Or you can say, give me a random animation and I'll give you random animation. If you don't like the way it's animating, you can hit random many times and it'll give you a different variety. So that's really useful. So again, a lot of you watching this, you're like, ah, oh, I can't use this every single day. Yeah, you can. This is a very useful tool, but I'm not done yet. Let me show you some more examples. So let me kind of go back to where we started. We have the same boring animation and I'm gonna go into one of these tiles in here. And in here I have a logo right now, but I'm gonna hide this and I'm gonna go with the second shape layer animation. And this one is a very simple one. It's just a cube kind of scaling up and scaling back down. So essentially we get something like this. So it kind of fills the whole screen and then it 
you know, goes back to where it was. Now, the cool thing about this, we can select all of our layers and then we can offset it like this, right? And if I preview it, you can see it gives us really interesting results. We can say, you know, go inward like that. Now, the awesome thing about that, this can easily be like a transition. So if I go to a composition before this, here's what it can look like. It can be a transition, right? You can go back here and alter it. You can say, hey, let's go from like random. Let's see what that looks like. And if you go here, this is what random would look like. So you can imagine how how wild you can go with this. I mean, you, the sky is the limit what you can do with this. So let's see, what else can we do? Maybe let's try from like a um, top right corner, something like this. That's cool, let's go back to this. Again, you get the point here, really useful. Now I have one more example. Let's take it a bit further, actually two more. I lied, I'm sorry about that. Let's see what this one looks like. So this one is a bit more complex. So it kind of slides in and then scales up on the uh, Y axis. And then it goes to the left like this. But if we preview it in here, it'll give you something really interesting. So it gives you a different look, right? So let me select all of them. And let's do something like this one right here. Let's see what happens. Really cool, right? You can play around with these and get all kinds of unique looking transitions in no time. So let's see what that looks like in the previous comp. Yeah, I like it. I probably should do some tutorials in the next couple of days on how to create these transitions, but I just wanted to show you how useful this tool is, but I'm not done yet. I have one more example, and this one has to do with something like graphs. I'm using a graph to show you this example, but you can use anything, like anything that you have animated throughout your composition, you can use this tool for. So for example, right now I have this bar graph. They're all animating at the same time. It's not bad, but it's kind of boring. But what if I wanted to offset all of that animation starting at the left side going to the right? Again, the same thing. All you have to do is select all of your layers and then click on this left button. And as you can see, now they're all animating from this side going to the right. Again, you can adjust your animation. For example, I, maybe I wanted to have a longer spread so I can say, hey, let's do it within 50 frames. And then if I do the same thing, obviously the animation is gonna be much longer. So if that's what you're going for, you can see that it's very useful. Now, let me undo all of this. Here's another thing you can do. You are not stuck to just like you don't have to select all of your like layers, objects. What you can do, you can maybe restrict it. Maybe I can just animate these, right? These bars, I can select them and then I can tell them, hey, animate from the right side going to the left. So I can click on this and then it'll do that, right? So that's cool. Or maybe I can say animate, you know, starting from the center going out, right? Like this. So that could be unique. Maybe you can do the same thing for these. You can say maybe the opposite, starting at the edges going in. So let's see what that looks like. So again, the sky is the limit for these. You can select these and you can tell them to maybe animate from the left side, right? You can say left side. And these top two, let's select them and say come in from the top center going downwards like this. And now if I preview the whole animation, you can see it definitely gives us something unique. All right, well, this is the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope I did a good job showing you how useful this tool is because let's face it, it is. It's an amazing tool. And if you thought this tool was awesome, you should check out Tim's other free script called Bouncer. You can do so at ukramedia.com slash bouncer. The link to that is at the bottom of this video in the description area. So definitely check it out. Definitely like this video, comment below, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media. We also have a free mentoring group on Facebook that you can join today at ukramedia.com slash community. And if you want to learn more about expressions in After Effects, we have a course on that at ukramedia.com slash expressions. The link to that is also at the bottom of this video. But in the meantime, my name is Sergey Praknevsky, and this is ukramedia.com. <laughs>